gosh, this place is freaking beautiful. Hi guys, hope you guys are doing well. I'm uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link in the video description below if you need some unlimited internet. I got really, really lucky here and I was just hitting all the state parks in Florida and pretty much refreshing every hour and there was a cancellation here at Manatee Hammock State Park Campground with like waterfront views here of the Atlantic Ocean and lots and lots of palm trees. The camping sites themselves are, they're pretty cramped in there. But you know what? It's a safe spot to park. I got tater tot to go cruise around and might have some friends join me later. This is just amazing. What absolute amazing weather we've been having in Florida. I am so lucky and blessed, man. Very thankful too. I mean, I haven't even really gotten settled over here. I haven't even hooked up the sewer and the water yet at my RV site, but you know, I'm here for the beach and the water and everything. So I'm not too concerned about the campsite up here, but 26 bucks a night. And uh, I may continue this theme as I continue to go south, just kind of hit refresh because everything's booked like a year out here on the coast. And the funny thing is that's without the snowbirds from Canada. Remember, they're still not able to come down here. So Florida is completely booked without the snowbirds. So what does that tell you about tourism? in the south in the winter yeah really can you guys hear the birds they're just they're going crazy out here i want to grab my scandals and uh head out and put my toes in the water though got a couple hours of sunlight left hanging out here at the uh, coco beach pier yeah let's go to the beach all right i'm out here at the beach they got the the pier up there with some restaurants and stuff going on we got that it's not white sandy beach but it's definitely uh good looking and we got the water out. I got a surprise for you guys. I got a surprise for you. I come all the way out here to Florida, you know, and uh, who do I run into? The Fowlers! Sean and hey, Jill. Hey everybody! <laughs> From uh, Modified Auto East Dalton. So they're on their little little vacation and getting some sun. We ran into this bum. That's ah, pretty cool. So we're gonna, we're gonna hang out at the beach here a little bit. Yeah, just, just chilling. And enjoy this. Uh, I will point out, you probably can't see on this wide angle, but out there, there's two Disney Cruise Line ships out there. Actually, there's three. The other one's over there, so if they're not doing cruises right now. Maybe they're testing them out? Uh-huh. Let's go. Let's go put my feet in the water. Oh, and I got a barley pop. Yeah, they serve barley pop up there. <laughs> I left the car uh, back at camp, so I came out here with Sean and Jill over there, so they're, they're my ride back. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So we got the Atlantic Ocean here that we're touching down on, guys. We had the Pacific Ocean six months ago, Gulf of Mexico last month, and oh yeah, the Atlantic. Just beautiful. Are you not impressed? Nah, I think I'm going. <laughs> it's only slightly warmer here than Illinois, probably a little bit. Just a tiny bit. A little bit. It's freezing there. It, it's freezing. It was yeah. snowing. Oh, it was snowing? was i check it on my cameras every once in a while just to see what the house looks like check the weather app to see how cold it gets and everything i'm like yeah. i like florida oh the beach was nice before the sun sets we're gonna go get some mexican food and margaritas at uh salsa's mexican restaurant here in uh coco beach oh, this place is awesome all right all right, we got, we got our uh, margaritas here. They came with these flowers in them. I went ahead and put mine in, in my hair, my flowers in, in my hair. Cheers, guys. There's oh. Marg. I got Marg all in the chips. I got, I got margarita chips, new adventure. Oh, you wouldn't like it. We got a side of queso. Look at this freaking side of queso, y'all. That's ridiculous. And, I'm happy to report that they do kind of have chicken on the beach, but it's called Aurora, Aurora, Aurora's Con Pollo, grilled chicken stripped over a bed of Mexican rice. So that's what I'm getting. I right, got my chicken on the beach, refried beans. Sean's got some tacos over there, sorts. Street tacos. Street tacos. Take... All right, Jill's got same thing. Yeah. The extra stuff. The extra stuff. Yeah. Well, we're stuffed. That was uh, some good grub. What are we doing now? Oh man. Oh, you want to see a movie? We're gonna talk it over. I'll get back to you. Oh, sleepy little boy. Is that comfortable? It was comfortable. Okay. How you doing, buddy? 
Sean and Jill and I went to a theater here. It's a, it's a Cobb Theater and uh, saw an interesting movie called Monster Hunter. And, you know, I saw some previews and it just kind of looked like an action movie. I guess it's based on a video game. It's a strange movie about hunting down weird beasts and dragons. And then, like, at the end of the movie, there was a six-foot talking cat. And, like, Sean and Jill and I all looked at each other and just went, what, did, what does this have to do with a, just a random servant butler cat? <laughs> but, I, again, I found out later that the Monster Hunter is based on a popular video game out there that a bunch of people know. So these are all characters, but someone that didn't know the game, it was a strange movie. <laughs> Not as bad as Wonder Woman 84, but definitely a head scratcher for sure. I'm not giving up on movies, guys. Not doing it. <laughs> Today, <laughs> another project underway. Do <laughs> you guys remember Baby Girl here? Robert, my buddy mechanic that uh, helped me with a bunch of stuff back at home base, is here in Florida. So, he's, oh, he's over here working on the RV. Hey, Robert. Man, it's weird I run into you. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. So, he's already started uh, working here. As many of you know, my exhaust leak came back. But actually, it's just on the passenger side here and uh, got a mirror in there and you can see a crack in the manifold. So, got new gaskets. I ordered a, uh, basically a brand new manifold. It's off of an unused box truck. So, that was $750 just for that one side manifold there. Got gaskets. Also, did pick up some new studs here. Robert went in here and, you know, remember Andrew helped me do this what, just two summers ago? Maybe last summer even? I don't remember. So Robert pulls out the very first stud here. It's broken inside. So, um, <laughs> and we used anti-seize and everything. Uh, this is one of the ones that we reused. We had to actually re re replace a couple of these, but we'll just uh, kind of play this by ear and see if it happens again. That's what it's supposed to look like. So, Missing about a half inch of stud inside there. It's just <sighs> always happens. But we'll see if we can get the manifold off here, um, and uh, we'll go from there. Get, probably gotta probably gotta drill out that one on that side. But this is my last full day here, and I you know I feel like we're getting projects done, and that and that's good. I really appreciate Robert's help and everything. I, I always pay my mechanic good. I'll put a link in the video description for King's Auto Shop there on Facebook if you need some work on your vehicle or anything. He's 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 a great handyman. He's a good friend. We may have to go out for margaritas tonight or something. No, I'll see. Robert's in there taking a look at the part of the stud that's still stuck in the in the motor there. He 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 got her off though and uh yeah, so so this this gasket was about 18 months old eight 18 months old and it pretty much leaked everywhere i mean all all five of these leaked at some point but let's look under here so you can see all the black soot especially around right there so that was the the one that was leaking the most that's also where that the the broken studs at but you know you, you do see a lot of carbon over there too a lot you know it almost looks like all of these were leaking a little bit so either that gasket failed or it wasn't quite tight enough to torque or something but you know we're robert's gonna work on removing that stud there and then uh we're gonna, we're gonna get this put back together and see how she sounds we'll have to go make a trip to the hardware store here because the one that needs to be drilled out the frame of the rv is in the way to get any standard thing in there so we got to go get like an angle drill or something to be able to wedge in there to get the clearance right so we'll go we'll go head to the hardware store the uh auto parts store here and the hardware store here in a little bit we're having some bud light with our kfc here and robert had a friend here in town that had this little guy which is how he's trying to drill into there right now to remove it how's that going <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to give you a quick little update here as we are losing daylight. Sometimes a $15 gasket, a little quick 15-minute repair, turns into an all-day or multiple-day thing. And that's where we're at. We got Jack's roaming away here, so I'm going to keep an eye on him. And Sean and Jill have joined back up. Hey, guys. And uh, Robert took the truck to get, uh, well, some new supplies. It turns out he had to actually drill the entire thing in out because the easy out didn't work for us. 
So, he's kind of moving kind of quickly. I think I need to grab my kitty. Hang on. Jax, slow down. Every once in a while, he just kind of takes off on me there. He's like, well, you're talking to the camera. Maybe I can get away with going a little farther. So, I'll show you what we're going to do in there. This is going to end up being drilled out a little more here and over here. In that one spot down there, it's kind of dark to see, but things don't always go as expected. That's okay. Robert is not a quitter <laughs> like some of the other repair dealerships I've been to, so that's a good thing. When he gets back, hopefully we'll get this buttoned up and maybe we'll uh, go out one more time because I got to check out in the morning no matter what. Having a little bath time there, Jax? A little bath time? Sean keeps oogling this uh, Winnebago Brave next to us. It's got the old uh, retro look. I'm gonna show you the front real quick. We believe this is a 2018 model, but it's got that 1970s, late 1970s front end look. Looks really cool. It appears to only be available in yellow right now for that retro look. Yeah, I, did, I did find some a maroon one and a one that's tan on the bottom like yours. Nice, nice. Cool, yeah. well, Robert got the new one threaded in there. That is awesome good news. Now we can put this back together. All right, it is late and it's dark, but folks, there is no ticka, 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 ticka anymore. They've been running it for about 10 minutes now and uh, put all the torque, right torque specs into it. So um, I believe we're good. Nice job, bud. What a long day. I will give Robert some credit. This one tested him. <laughs> He's a good mechanic and that dark cloud of mine, it kind of came back for a little bit there, but he was able to uh, battle through it. Um, so I have half inch studs to tighten on nine of the 10. And then the other one is I think a nine sixteenths head now. So Miranda is very unique on the passenger side exhaust manifold uh, section. So, <laughs> but we ran the RV for what, 15, 20 minutes here. The exhaust clicking tick, 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 non stops. It's gone. So another thing off my list. I feel really, really good. And again, thank you to Robert. Link below in the video description to King's Auto Shop. Robert's in Florida right now, but uh, Robert's a lot like me. Things could things could change. I could tell you in this video right now that I'll see you tomorrow from the Everglades in Florida. When in fact in two or three days from now, I could randomly pop up in California or Washington State or New York or Maine or Michigan. <laughs> Who knows? So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna pretend like I know what the future holds. I don't know where I'm going tomorrow morning. I'm gonna figure this all out though, all right? All right, Jackson, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.